morning, everyone. My name is Matthew Gonzali. Welcome to a brand new episode of my daily mental health tip series. Now, quick thing, though, before we get started, when you're done watching today's video, please be sure to check the link down in the description below for today's reading a smile. It's going to put this much-needed, bright, warm, genuine smile on your face. I know you're going to love it. And for those of you having a tough day out there right now, it might be just a thing to snap you out of that negative mindset and into a positive one. Isn't it worth a shot? Go check it out. Link in the description below when you're done watching this video. Now, for today's mental health tip, my friends, what I want you to do is to try to socialize more. See, we humans, as I've said before, and I'll say again, are social creatures. Our minds, autistic or not, are wired to want to be social in, in multiple capacities with other human beings. It's just how our minds are. And one of the big, 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 big things that I have noticed... When it comes to people suffering from different kinds of mental illness, whether it be an eating disorder, bipolar disorder, depression, what have you, is this great feeling that we tend to feel that we're all alone in the world. Today, I'm here to tell you that's not true at all. Now, there are good people in this world. Don't think that there aren't, because I used to think that way too. Obviously, with my autism, socializing with a lot of other people and making genuine friendships has always been a hard thing for me to do. But I kept at it, I kept at it, and today, I have five people that I would consider my best friend. So, if it works for me, I know it can damn sure work for you too. Now, like I said, there are good, genuine people in the world, and if you truly don't feel like you have them in your life, that doesn't mean they're not necessarily there for one thing, or that you will never find them one day. Because, as a kid, I remember, I never really had any friends as a kid myself. I would socialize with people and hang out with other people at school, but I would never consider it friendship. And I remember just feeling so lonely, and as a kid, the only thing I remember wanting was just a genuine friendship. Now, it didn't happen for me at the time. But I kept at it. I kept trying to socialize with other people. I kept trying to improve myself socially. And like I said, I have five people I would consider my best friend today. So, if this works for me, I know in my heart that it can work for you. And I know, I know, if you're like me, autistic, and watching this, socializing can be a really, really hard thing. Like I said, it's genuinely hard for me even now with people I don't know. But... Here's a couple little pieces of advice I'm going to leave you with, okay? Don't give up. If you feel like you've struck out at making a conversation or a friendship, that doesn't mean you have to give up on the whole socializing thing to begin with. Or should be a disheartening thing to you. It just means for you to keep going. Also, here's something I noticed. Try making a, um... Well, not a burner account, but... An account on YouTube or a social media platform. Only comment nice things or discussion-inducing things with that account. Just some things to consider. This is some of the things that help me get by. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me rambling. I hope my ramblings meant something to you or were able to help you in some small way. My name is Matthew I'm sorry, my name is Babyface Matthew Gonzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.